Hi. Now for this part of the question, we're told that using this equation here, it will give us where the line y equals x then crosses the curve. And we've got to change this to an iterative equation and using a first value of 3, figure out what the value of x is to three decimal places. So to do this, what we need to do is let this x become x with a subscript n plus 1 and then it equals 3 plus 4e to the power minus x and on this one we just write a subscript n. So our first approximation, let's say we call it x0, is 3 we're told. Now if we use a scientific calculator to work out all our approximations then taking a calculator something like this. In the usual way, make sure you clear the screen, enter your first approximation, in this case it's 3, press equals, and that's our first approximation. And that's stored as the answer. Now we enter our iterative equation, so it's 3 plus 4 times e to the power minus xn. On this calculator, the E button is up here. I need to press Shift, and then there's E. And now we need minus. Now it says Xn. I replace that with answer. So at the moment, then, answer is stored as 3. And by pressing equals, we get our next approximation, X1, which is 3.19914 and so on. Now we need to give our answer to three decimal places. So what I'm looking for is to see when this fourth digit, okay, settles, okay, stays exactly the same. So X1 at the moment then is 3.199 to three decimal places. Press equals again, and now we've got 3.1631 and you can see to three decimal places this is 3.163. Let's look at x3. x3, 3.1691 to 3dp, it's 3.169. Not settled down yet. Press equals again, and we've got x4, 3.1681. To 3dp, it's 3.168. Still not settled down. Press equals again, and we've now got x5, 3.1683. It's 3.168 to three decimal places, but notice how it's a 3 here. Previously, it was a 1, so it's not settled. Pressing equals again gives us 3.1682. Still 3.168 to 3 dp, but that fourth digit there is not settled. Let's do it again, okay? And we've now got 3.1683. And it's still going to be 3.168, but it's not settling that fourth digit. Let's do it again. Ah, we've got the fourth digit still staying at a 3. So I can see now that to three decimal places, the x-coordinate of p is going to be 3.168.